Now, the news team that covers the first local news in the Ozarks. News Team 33 at 5.30 with Ralph Hipp, Donna Klein, Sports Director Tom Mast, Meteorologist Ron Hurst, and Call for Action reporter Sarah Overstreet. And now, News Team 33 at 5.30. Two Springfield men are in court at this hour answering charges of first-degree murder. Good evening, I'm Ralph Hipp. And I'm Donna Klein. Welcome to News Team 33. Our Todd Johnson has just returned from the courthouse in Webster County and joins us now with the tales of what may soon be two murder trials. Todd? Well, Don we've all heard warnings against participating in illegal mail-order schemes. But just ahead in her call for action report, Sarah Overstreet has an extra warning us that, in, or uh, an extra warning, and she'll tell us how you could be punished just for taking part in an Ill Ill illegitimate operation. Tom Mash will tell us about Wimbledon's first big upset, and we'll find out what it's like to try out for the Atlanta Braves. And we'll be happy to hear from you. Okay, Sarah. See you again right. tomorrow. Call before you spend that money. No Absolutely. kidding, or before you get yourself in trouble. Right. Good Thank advice. you, Sarah. Still ahead on News Team 33, Tom Ast will be back in the studio at sports. But up next, meteorologist Ron Hurst has our forecast. Ron? Well, Don and Ralph, the jet stream is going to keep our weather a little warm and muggy for a while. And stay tuned. I'll have the complete forecast ahead. First of all, let's take a look at today's Ozark Lake Levels. As we're finding out, the problem with living in Texas and Louisiana mm. is that when hurricane season rolls around or tropical storm season, it gets rough. Awfully wet over there, Ron. Well, I tell you what, they've got uh, puddles and puddles and rivers and lakes and streams. They've got it all down there. We're going to show you some pictures here in a second, so gather around the TV set. Let's take a look at the current conditions outside in Springfield. We have mostly sunny skies. The temperature stands at 85 degrees, humidity at 55 percent. Winds are currently out of the northeast at 12 miles an hour. The barometer this afternoon is steady, and as far as rain in Springfield, nothing over the past 24 hours. Here's a look at live Cullenhan's Doppler radar for you this afternoon. Still some showers continuing from about Macomb down towards Van Sant. Looks like uh, some showers just to the west of Pomona and right around Salem down in Fulton County. Other scattered showers are dotted around the lakes area as well as you can see here. By the way, there's a little westward movement on these storms at about five miles an hour. As we've uh, alluded to, very heavy rains continue in Louisiana. Some places have received more than a foot of rain. Here are some totals. Lake Charles, Louisiana, almost seven inches of rain. Baton Rouge, we're going to update that for you now. A little over nine inches of rain. And the capital, Alexander, about two and a half inches of rain, so some very heavy weather. Let's go ahead and take a look at some pictures. Here's what it looks like in uh, Louisiana right now. You can see some fairly heavy flooding problems across much of the south. A lot of homes have had uh, water damage. They've been sweeping it out and carrying it out in buckets. Very tough to get around the state, and it's going to continue off and on for the next 24 hours. Satellite picture shows plenty of clouds, too, throughout the central plains, and you can see just back into the Ozarks. We do have some frontal systems, but most of them are to the north, and that's where it's going to stay over the next couple of days. By the way, here's what's left of tropical uh, depression, Allison, and it's going to move west, so it's going to bring the rain with it. 86 degrees, the official high so far, 65 degrees on the morning low. The jet stream ha continues to be on to the north. That's where all the warm weather is going to go. And by Friday, why it's going to remain well to the north, high pressure is going to set up over the central plains. Things are going to be very, very warm and muggy. As you can see, anywhere in the shaded area, it's going to be a hot one for the beginning of the holiday weekend. Here's what the map looks like for tomorrow. Plenty of storms in the south. High pressure controls our weather just afternoon and evening thunderstorms. Let's get on with the forecast and for tonight. Partly cloudy skies. We'll have some scattered storms. They'll be ending earlier. Winds out of the east to low temperature in the mid-60s. In northwestern Arkansas, partly cloudy to variable clouds. Winds will be uh, out of the east at 5 to 10 miles an hour. Look for some scattered storms as well as in Arkansas. Low temperature 65 to 67 degrees. For tomorrow, we'll see some sunshine and a few clouds out there. Don't forget about the afternoon. Widely scattered thunderstorms there. Winds will be out of the southeast at 8 to 15 miles an hour and day Daytime highs, once again, very warm, mid to upper 80s. As we take a look at the next five days, here comes the, uh, what well, we're going to turn the stove on. That's what we're going to do. 90 by Saturday, 94 on Sunday. Always a chance for widely scattered afternoon and early evening thunder showers. Okay, Ron, 94, we'll wait mm. for it. Yes. Pretend. Pete Rose won again today in his legal maneuverings. Tom Mast has an update next on News Team 33. Rose may have won today, but is he really winning overall? Details ahead.
today over Ronnie Bachman of Sweden. The men's 11th seed, Brad Gilbert, was an upset loser. On the women's side today, top seed Steffi Graf, number 7, Arantxa Sanchez, number 8, Pam Shriver, number 11, Monica Sales, and number 12, Mary Jo Fernandez were all winners. It took them all just two sets to advance. So Jimmy comes home to Belleville, Illinois, and we'll watch it on TV. He could go to Hugh Hefner's wedding with his hey, playmate right. wife, too. Yeah, probably has an invitation. Probably. Okay. Thank you, Tom. We'll have more of baseball fever just ahead on News Team 33. We'll go to a major league tryout and find out how close some local players came to playing for the Braves. The American dream. Hope a few of their dreams come true anyway. You watch these movies that are out, Field of Dreams and all that, and every guy, I mean, I would love to be a major oh, league yeah. baseball player. Could have gone to that, but I can't play baseball. <laughs> I do this instead. Well, one quick reminder that news and weather updates are as close as your telephone. We have teamed up with Buy Ride Directories to give you the information you need, no matter what time of day or night. Just dial 882-4488, key in 1 for news updates, and key in 2 for Ron Hurst's forecast. Well, thank you so much for joining us on this Wednesday. I'm Donna Klein. And I'm Ralph Hipp. Hope you'll come back and join us for News Night at 10 o'clock. And in the meantime, stay tuned to KSPR Springfield. Coming up next is World News Tonight with Peter Jennings. Bye for now.